Does the guitar really matter? Now hold on. Before you start ranting in the comments, I am one of those guys that always searches for the greatest tone. But sometimes I wonder if you just use a pickup and switch it into any other kind of guitar, will the guitar just sound like that pickup? Now I know some people say, you know, a pickup made in the 60s, single coil, and then you throw that single coil into, you know, a Fender Strat from 2014, it's going to sound completely different. So I thought, hey, let's let you decide. So I've got four guitars with me today. All of them will be using the Gibson Dirty Fingers Humbucker in the bridge position. Now, the reason we're doing that is because that is my pickup of choice live and in the studio. Um, I really love the, uh, the high gain settings on it, so that, that's, that's my thing, that's what I have, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to play you the exact same riffs four times, each time with a different guitar. And now it doesn't matter if there's multiple pickups on the guitar, everything is exactly the same. So I went through positive grid, used the exact same uh, settings for my amp simulation and any effects that are on there, and all I did was change the guitars. That is it. So uh, let's say hi to the uh, contestants, shall we? So here we have an Epiphone Tom DeLong uh, hollow body, the ES333, uh, Gibson Dirty Fingers in the bridge. Nothing here. It's just a solid piece of wood going all the way up. F-holes, of course. And uh, I got this back in uh, I, I, 2012, I believe. And this has been my main workhorse live. So this is the number one guitar I've been using. And this is the reason why all of, uh, or most of my guitars have the Gibson Dirty Fingers uh, humbucker. Contestant number two, a Gibson ES335 Studio. Um, roughly the same thing as uh, the Epiphone Tom DeLong, but <gasps> Gibson. So as you can see, it's a little different up here, different pickguard. That shouldn't really affect the sound too much. What may affect the sound is, you know, since it's a Gibson, they say it's, uh, you know, it's all automatically supposed to sound better. But my big thing is no F-holes. So I really uh, thought, you know, maybe the tonality will change a little bit. So, contestant number three is what I like to call a Betty. Um, she is my secondary guitar live for the most part. Uh, usually it's for um, alternate tunings, like a D sharp. I have a couple songs in. This is a little bit different because it is an Epiphone Dot Studio, and it still has the Gibson Dirty Fingers Humbucker, but here is a Gibson Burst Bucker. And it doesn't get a lot of use. In the studio, the Burst Bucker gets more use. But, uh, like I said, I really just love the... Uh, the bridge position, uh, Dirty Fingers Humbuckers. Uh, this is a little different because instead of having two, um, two guitars that'll have the pure wood going all the way up the neck after the bridge, this one is, uh, is open for another humbucker. And this one has the F-holes, it's got a tone knob all the way to 10, volume knob all the way to 10, but still, I'm just using the bridge. And the last guitar that you guys will be hearing is a 1977 Gibson Melody Maker, made famous by, of course, Joan Jett from Joan Jett and the Black Arts and the Runaways fame. Um, I got a tone knob, volume knob, and this is actually just a kill switch because I only have a Gibson Dirty Fingers humbucker in the bridge, and that's it. So the difference of tonality should be, out of all of these, this one should be the, the biggest difference because there's not a lot of wood here. It's really thin, but it is solid, as opposed to all three other guitars that are hollow body in nature. So those are the four guitars that we're going to be hearing today. Uh, you'll know which one's up. Just watch the video and you'll see uh, the different guitars that are being played at that moment. Uh, I will have uh, all the information on the uh, guitars or links to them or uh, what I am using from uh, Positive Grid, uh, i.e. the amp and effects and stuff all down below, um, and I hope you guys enjoy.
have it. Were you surprised as I was? Please do me the favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, comment down below, and check me out on all the links, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Ask any questions that you have. I love answering questions. Uh, until next time, peace.